Hello and welcome back to some Akuma MC Prisons. I've got an absolutely crazy one for you here today. Now, in the last one, I got enough orbs to get my first booster set of armor, which I got the gem armor. It's not much of a boost, but it is a good start, and as we get more orbs, we'll be able to upgrade it. Now, I've got a lot of tokens and a lot of gems. I actually did not do a bunch of AFKing, though, if I'm being honest. A lot of that is because I did just slam through some openables and get a crap ton of tokens from it. Uh, number one, I want to max out Jackhammer. It is up there in priority, except there is one enchant that I put above that, and that is Mead's PayPal. So if you don't know what this enchant does, basically every single block we break has a chance to give us coupons. And if we save up enough, we can exchange them for stuff on the store that can help us on our mining adventures. One thing you can do to boost this is things like the Lucky Shard pet, uh, the Dragon's Pick pet, and also the Dual Miner pet. So I'm going to be taking or making use of these later on in this video, but I want to go ahead and spend the rest of my tokens. Now, like I said, Jackhammer is an absolute must. As soon as it adjusts, we needed to get Jackhammer maxed out. That is done. So that is one of those done. Um, I also want to go ahead and get Fuel Finder so I can start finding fuel. Gem Merchant, I think that maxes it out, actually. And you know what? I'm 100% doing that. I think Vein Miner um, is, the, is the answer here. Absolutely Vein Miner. And then it comes down between Napalm Strike and Cluster Bomb. Cluster Bomb is activated more, and it's more expensive to upgrade, so I assume that means it should be roughly better. Literally every enchant on my pickaxe is maxed out at the moment, except for Napalm and Gem Enchants, which, by the way, am I thinking Frozen uh, Gorge? It has activated about as much as Black Hole. I don't know, but I also just realized another thing. I still have these. I wanted to save these, at least, for the video. I opened up everything else but, of course, you know, the special crates. Wait a minute, I forgot there's a Gem Finder attachment. Why do I not have that on? Alright, 13 of these. These usually give a lot of tokens. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, am I going to max that? I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to, like, finish that sentence. I am going to max it out. What do I do with my tokens now? I guess I could save up and upgrade the uh, the AFK miner. I'm in the perfect position for that, actually. Although, I feel like I don't need him. And it's been a while since I've been this set on tokens, dude. That's kind of insane. I'm making some great progress this season. Speaking of great progress, I have almost every single pickaxe skin maxed out. The only one is Reaper. I've been doing that on the side so that I can just get it out of the way. I'm gonna miss you, Clone One, but I'm pretty sure Masterful is just better than you. I mean, it, I mean, maybe not at the moment, but it will be better than you. Okay, I'm gonna take Experience 5 for now, and we'll work on this guy for a little bit, because I don't wanna use all the tickets on him. Oh, man. Oh, man. I kinda want the Extendo time, though, but provide a pet with a two times boost for a short period of time. I do have a lot of these, because I also use explosives. Uh, that I'll be saving up, or I guess holding on to, and mining, and slowly opening. My challenge did complete, didn't it? I just realized I didn't claim it. Ta-da! So let's see. I've got to upgrade Vein Miner to 5,000. Done. Uh, re reach Mine Rank 400. Done. Mine 5,000 blocks. Done. Uh, oh, no, wait, sorry. I'll have to do that one now. Turns out there is still mining quests, but I will use Ultra Drills for that, because they will get the job done, and uh, not be annoying. Oh, that's already done. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a feeling it'd be very easy. All of those are done. I'm just gonna go ahead and save the trouble of reading them. They're all done. The only thing that's not is the blocks. I'm gonna speedrun these real fast. I am, in fact, pickaxe level 100, bro. I, I I promise you. Do I have to- don't- don't make me get a pickaxe level to prove it. I'm gonna go ahead and vote while this figures it out. Voting is done- I got double rewards? What? I mean, I'll take it. Just waiting for the rest of them to adjust. That should take a minute. Man, I am slamming through these, but I have a feeling that I'm going to run into a wall very soon. In fact, I, I'm feeling it's going to be the next one. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah. Here's the wall, guys. So I've done everything but 450 and mortar. I mean, I can do slash mortar, but I can't rebuild the mortar. So there's the wall. I had a feeling it was coming up. We've got our work cut out for us, but I've got four skill points to do it so that is gonna be let's see that'll be 10 percent pet xp boost 20 percent pickaxe xp boost eight percent gem and eight percent token that is absolutely beautiful here we go 
Bam, 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 and we mine. Wait, I have 174 orbs? How did that happen? It usually gives in increments of 10. I mean, it's extra, so, like, I'm not gonna complain. Okay, yeah, so, like, every time it finds me orbs, it gives me a little extra. I guess it's, like, every 10, it gives me an extra 2. Oh, I think I have enough as well. Hold up, that's frozen gore. So let's go. Man, my gem game's not that good. Like, the, the robots do really good for tokens, but for gems, they're just not as crazy. Honestly, it's kind of weird not having anything to spend tokens on. Like I, like I said, I could spend them on the AFK miner. It costs, like, several Q to make him, like, worth it. Oh, Napalm activated. Good. Oh, and it knocked me down. That's great. Five minutes on this pet. Then I'll be moving on to the other ones. I haven't paid attention. Frozen Gorge is activated. Where? Oh, it went over here. Well, that sucks. I mean, I guess I got a lot of... I mean, I don't know if it was from that or not, but I got a lot of gems at some point. Oh, a brand new mine tier. This kind of hurts the eyes a little bit. Not gonna lie. So far, though, I like the new skins they've done. Like, the new um layouts and everything, the different uh tiers. Like, it's, it's really nice. By the way, guys, come join Akuma MC, the number one prisons in Skyblock server of 20. 24 and 2025 i'm willing to say this season came out semi recently but they've got an even bigger season planned for uh, i believe december which you won't want to miss out on it is going to be game changing all the information is down in the description below so how many gems do i need for the next level of frozen gorge 82.5 million that's so many I'm actually really excited to open some of these pouches. It's going to give me a lot of gems, which I'm, of course, going to throw into Frozen Gorge until it starts paying back the gems that I put into it. Because it has proc the most now out of my gem enchants. Uh, not counting lottery. Oh, Black Hole. Well, now it's tied up, guys. Black Hole heard me talking shit and decided to show up to the party. Oh, I uh, believe that's enough, right? Yep, let's just grab that. Beautiful. I love when we get to these big tier mines and you can just run around and mine, especially with like high level jackhammer. You never fall in a hole, you just keep going. It's so beautiful. Well, unless like meteor shower or something activates or, you know, uh, very rarely when napalm activates and it drops you down a layer or two. Wow, I've almost gotten 200 orbs already. That is massive. I mean, I figured it's going to be pretty easy to get each uh, tier for the gem armor at least. Because it's going to be, like, 400 roughly each video. Uh, assuming my luck isn't better in that in said video, or worse in said video. But if 400 is my average, which it seems uh, roughly 400... Actually, no, I guess it'd be 550. Huh, because I got 400, spent it, then an extra 150. I'm going to have a lot extra after this one, which means I should be flying up through this armor. Oh, I forgot to do the... Oh, hello, Zeus's Wrath. Forgot I had you hanging out here. Should I get a better rune? Mortar Madness, but I don't know if I need to have the mortar or not. That's my biggest issue. I have no freaking clue. Bam, bam, bam. Level four. Throw it on. All right. That's nice. I like that. I was also going to say, I forgot to check out the gum thing. I can't... What is it? I don't know how to check it. Oh, apparently it's just bubble gum. I, I, I guess that makes sense. I tried gum, I think, whatever. So we can warp to the bubble gum machine and we can see info. So we've got Arsenal Accelerator, Turbo Burst, Raindrops, and Perkaholic. Um, let me mine real fast. Just make sure that I do not lose my momentum. Three times mortar proc, two times mortar shot for 10 minutes. Not good for me. Random Max Masterful Pet. That's kind of cool. Two times mana, two times rank progress, and all bubble guns. Yo, that's insane. Okay, you know what? Let's go check that out. So I have three tickets, and I can use a max of three, so let's send it. What do I get? Arsenal Accelerator. I fell in a hole. Thanks, Vein Miner. I also realized... I haven't opened keys yet, so I'm gonna open up the grind keys. I'm not gonna touch the rest of these keys, but I'll open these ones up. They got me pet trade tickets, uh, a token booster for two times for five minutes. Mmm. Actually, I'll probably hold that on me. All right, well, I opened all the things that I had from those keys and got nothing good. So let's get back to mining. 
After this pet, which is about four minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my crates before we head on to the last pet. Overall, I've made some pretty good progress today. My pickaxe has leveled up a good bit. Uh, my ranks, technically not really, but combined with what I did earlier, explosive-wise, and where I'm at right now, pretty damn good. I would like to also get enough orbs for, a, for an armor upgrade, so I gotta try and get that. I'm not that far off. My goodness, glad I got you. Oh my god, look at my gems fly up from that. Wait, that is insane. Also, I think this is my favorite mine, or leading into my favorite mine. I just love the sound of nether uh, uh, brick. I was trying to think of what to call it. I was like, what the hell is this? Oh, here it is. Oh, that's so satisfying to hear. Oh, I'm nearly, I, I'm nearly at the gems I need. <laughs> I was so distracted with the sound. I was just enjoying it. Hey, Frozen Gorge, level six, and it's procced five times. Uh, my pet is on cooldown, which means my booster will follow shortly. I will go ahead, because I don't care that much about this booster, and activate these guys. Or, sorry, uh, open these guys. I was debating... Hello? I was debating on opening these and combining them, but I'll probably do stuff like that in my free time as well. Let me start off with the key all crates. I'm gonna do all nine of them and just see what it gives me. No, nothing too crazy. I have a lot of, uh, of those. And those. Can I salvage those? Probably. Attachment rerolls are kind of nice. I could actually utilize those, but I'll probably utilize them a different time. Let's open up both of them. I gave it a little bit of time so I can see the final rewards for both of them. Petri tickets and robot generators. Wow, that was a huge amount of both. So this one, if I'm not mistaken, just virtually mines every single block, which is absolutely massive. We should get some huge procs. And I'm not even going to check now. At the end of this, I'm going to check how many Meads PayPal procs I got. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. But first, armor, gem, upgrade. Beautiful. So now it is a 1.10 times boost, which is absolutely beautiful. So I actually don't know why I'm getting two extra orbs every time, but it's super nice. I don't know what's doing it, though. I kind of want to get one more rank so that it's nice and even at 450. Oh, plus this is allowing me to get more orbs, so that's good. Hey, and I forgot that was part of the challenge. Good. I think I'm going to try and do some mining so that next time I will be able to actually mess with the mortar. And not only that, I'll be able to mess with this bubble gum right here. So that'll be exciting. We need 100,000 blocks. That's it. And then five more pickaxe levels. We're at that point. So let's see. Meets PayPal proc zero times. That is disappointing. Cluster Bomb proc eight times. And Napalm actually proc six. That's not too bad. I feel like that's a pretty good amount between the two of them. Or uh, a difference between the two of them. I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, all my other enchants have proc a lot. I'm not even worried about those ones. Fuel Finder also proc zero times. That's disappointing, but that's okay. Let's see. Four and five times. It's a shame we didn't actually get to see Maid's, Meads PayPal proc. It, I feel like it ruins the video, but I, I promise you guys it does work. I feel like that number has been lowered a bit. I do, or maybe I'm just unlucky. I don't know. I did see someone saying that they were also having bad luck with it. So maybe it's just a server-wide thing. But that is it for this one. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did and you haven't yet, leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more. Make sure to join the server. All the information down in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one.